So here we are at Camper Trailer of the Year 2021, brought to you by the power of Ridark. Now we're focusing on the Patriot X3. Patriot is a brand synonymous with Camper Trailer of the Year, having won it a number of times, and the X3 is a model we've seen before. DC, in terms of changes from last year and innovation, what have you found? As we see every year with uh, Patriot, you get more changes, more evolution than you can shake a stick at. I really like that new thematic cooker they had. I haven't seen this one before. No, 20,000 BTUs. Bo massive. Boils a litre of water in a minute. There were just so many little changes all over the place. The Evolve version of their awning can go right around the camper in their hexacore material. Tear resistant, light, UV resistant. I think he said it was about 20% stronger than canvas. The fact that it had the, the colours on the tab that you knew which wall was going to go in which spot. And it's got those antifungal qualities as well which make a really big difference if you've been away on a weekend and then you're packed up wet. They actually have a stairway to get up to the bed, not a ladder. Glenn, does, does all this come in with the quality that, that you'd like to see in a camper like this? Oh definitely David and I think this is a top spec camper. The front of the camper with its rhino wrap protects it from stones and then wrapped it on the roof because it offers a, a better protection and a softer finish so that it doesn't chip. Notice these little wet boxes in all the Patriots. Doesn't matter how many times you see it, yep. it still looks really useful. Yeah. COVID did affect them and they had to find new suppliers for some of their products and I think what they've done is they've found ones that are better than they used to use and they're Australian made which is fantastic. Everything that can be Australian made is right down to his wheels having the peak oil wheels. And as far as you know self-sufficiency goes it's that the high spec also gives you that ability to do some remote camping with its Webasto hot water service and heater that's integrated within the camper. 300 amp hour gel batteries which provides power to the Red Arc Red Vision system and the integrated solar panel on top of the, the roof rack can be easily removed. That was an 80 watt panel that provides enough power to go back in and 130 litres of water split over two poly tanks of 75 litres and 55 litres. The only problem I had was the spare tyre was a, a space saver. So Kath, what are your thoughts on value for money and X Factor? Well look, this is horses for courses. I mean, we're looking at 70,990 as seen, and a lot of the features that you would you would want to put in the X3R optional extras on top of that. So it would be easy to start pushing up around that sort of 80 grand once you started giving it the bells and whistles. This is a camper that's designed for an adventurous couple who are looking to buy a really high build quality Australian product. So Glenn, you'd have seen how the ladder is part of the XO rack and it's integrated, so you can't leave it at home. But did you notice that these feet are on these little slides here and this is their own design so you can adjust the feet for slightly uneven ground. This thing is just bristling with X Factor. Clean lines, the schmick paint work, build quality and that almost zealous attention to detail and it, it really is a standout. So what about getting off road with it? I've always been a big fan of Patriot's X Cruise suspension they co-developed with Cruise Master. It reduces a lot of weight and that's unsprung weight underneath the camper so it really helps the ride. I'm confident to say it'll tow really well with a dual cab ute or a small SUV. Departure angle at 38.5, uh, you're going to go through a lot of riverbeds and not have problems and it is quite short overall as well. Interestingly in this particular X-Cruise it also has airbags. They were specifically designed as a progressive rate airbag which is quite unusual. Most airbags are just a single rate and as they deflate they can become a bit troublesome whereas this setup when it's in low pressure it's still offers a good amount of compliance. Inside the Patriot X3, it still has access to the fridge from by the bed head. Huge fan of that. You can get a beer from sitting in the lounge. Yeah, definitely, or milk for your, the integrated coffee machine here. And actually on the bed, a 100ml mattress with a 20ml foam topper. Really comfortable place to be. Ventilation's really good, and then obviously with that Webusto, you've got a heater control system as well, and the panel's right there by the bed head, so if it's a bit chilly in the morning, just flick the heater on for a bit, get it nice and warm in there. The bed though, not as large as perhaps we would want. I think it was a little over or a little under a double size. It would be great to see it a queen or more. And probably the absolute, for me, standout for ease of use is quick release hoses for the gas. Now they're the first to be certified to do that. I expect others will follow, but once again, Patriot leads. <laughs> 